Good morning, we are back at it again. It is pretty early in the morning. I have to leave in 10 minutes, so I'm gonna do my face really quickly. I also opted not to wash my hair today. I put some dry shampoo in it, the one from Dry Bar, and hopefully it's okay throughout the day. Um, I'm just gonna leave it like this for now, and then I'll probably put it up in my scrunchie later. So I don't think I talked about the course yesterday in detail, but essentially, it is a course on um, training needs and options. So I facilitate a lot of um, training in my organization for new hires and um, sometimes even leadership. And one of the hardest things to do is train adults. <laughs> if you've ever had to do that, it uh, takes a special skill. I guess it really depends on what kind of industry you're in. If you are in a professional environment where, you know, most people have gone to probably post-grad, um, you know, they have secondary education, they have designations, they're like experts in their field, um, they're probably more apt to absorb what you're learning. But in Canada, all over Canada, um, the average uh, reading level is a grade six reading level, which is astonishing. So The Sun, which is a Toronto newspaper, um, if you've ever read it before, it's actually my least favorite newspaper, no offense if any of you work there or if you love it, it's my least favorite because I just don't find the content to be engaging, I find the wording to be really like basic, I find there's a lot of pictures everywhere, if I want pictures, I'll read a magazine, <laughs> but the reason it is written like that is because the average reading level in Canada is a grade 6. So it's meant to be simple, it's meant to have lots of pictures, it's meant to be, you know, simple sentence breakdowns and structure. Anyway, point of that is teaching adults is hard, so hopefully that's kind of what I learned out of this course. It was good, the first day was really rudimentary, um, you know, you always kind of have to learn the foundation before you can take it to the next level. So first day rudimentary, second day I'm hoping to get a little bit more out of it. Guys, I went to the um, outlet malls, the Toronto Premium outlet malls, a couple weekends ago, and I found this. I don't remember what the company is called, but it's like a cosmetic store. They sell um, different kinds of beauty products, and some of the products are, I don't want to say old, but they're like limited edition. So this is brand new out of the package, but of course, it's got to be like manufactured three or four years ago. Um, so it was on sale. I think they had a Black Friday weekend promotion saying that it was like 30% off. Anyway, I picked it up and I love it. Um, I love this powder. I used it up in its entirety the first round. And then before I could repurchase it, they discontinued it. So I was actually really excited to see this. It's a Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation. So if you are also a lover of this powder, you can find it at that Toronto Premium Outlet store. They had actually a pretty good shade range and they had quite a few shades of each. So, and I went on a Sunday, so it's like the end of the Black Friday weekend, so I'm sure they still have some available. Hi, I'm at the CHS I again, and it's still super dead. There's like, I think one other group in this building today, so pretty quiet. Okay, I'm home now and I did promise yesterday that I would unbox these Glossier parcels so I am going to do that now. <laughs> I don't remember if I have one more pending but if it shows up during the week then I'll show you guys what I got. Um, but this is not all for me so don't think that I'm being a really greedy hog. Some of these are actually gifts. I do love the Glossier packaging. Very simple box um, but it does have this cute sticker on it with a little smiley face that says have a nice day oh. I forgot that I opened this so I'm just gonna eat this quickly and then show you guys what I got these are those uh, organic fudge bars 
that I pick up from Costco. I limit myself to a couple a week as opposed to three a day, which I was doing. <laughs> uh, but I still love them. They're really good. And they're just like a really nice easy snack. Okay, we're back. That fudge bar was delicious. Um, so first parcel is a Glossier sweater. Um, I actually got three of them. They are all gifts, so I'm not just hoarding Glossier sweaters. But the inside of the box is cute. It says, make the world Glossier. They also um, have these little cards. I went to the store um, in LA on Melrose, and yeah, they were giving these out. So they are essentially little um, gift note stickers, which I thought was really cute. Ooh, also, they have these new uh, winter stickers, Glossier stickers. I actually have been putting the stickers on my laptop. No particular reason other than the fact that I wanted to. Um, I almost kind of regret doing it because I have the urge to peel them off. <laughs> I don't know, I just like that with stickers. I'll stick them on something and then I have the sudden urge to peel them off, which is not obviously a great aesthetic look, but I have been putting the Glossier stickers on there, so I'll probably put this one on my laptop too. Parcel number two, more Glossier sweaters. Like I said, I picked up three of them. So these are the other two. I don't believe there's anything else in here other than the sweaters. Okay, box number three. So this one came with some more uh, little notes. Okay, we have two bags of Glossier stuff in here. So I have so much going on in front of me that uh, I can't quite keep track of everything. Let's start with bag number one. This is a lipstick in jam. So this is the Generation G lipsticks. So I picked up the shade Leo in the original formulation. I wanted to try out the new formulations. So I picked up jam and cake. So two shades I don't currently own. I gotta say right off the bat, I did already swatch these in store. The packaging is definitely much better. And I like how the bullet is slightly bigger than it used to be. So it feels a little bit more flex. So I'm actually a little disappointed that I only got one of the Glossier stickers. So like the holographic one, I have four parcels, but only one of those stickers. And actually, I think I placed three different orders. So the sweaters was one order, the last box was one order, and then this is another order because I couldn't quite make up my mind <laughs> at the first checkout. So I ended up placing a bunch of different orders. So this is what I have going on. I have to sort all of this because like I said, there's a combination of gifts and also um, things that I bought for myself. But yeah. Got a lot of stuff going on. Okay, here is my little glossy haul. So this is a phase one set. In the phase one set, you get the Milky Jelly Cleanser, Priming Moisturizer, and a Bomb.com. I just picked up the original Bomb.com. I feel like it's just universal. Anyone likes it because it's not um, scented or tinted. So this is actually going to one of my girlfriends. This is a little gift note that I um, put together. So I'm going to put that in one bag. This is another gift for uh, my sister-in-law actually. So we're getting her a Glossier sweater so we can all be matching in twinsies. And then this is like the Wouter duo. So light medium with the brush. Then we have the Lidstar Duo. You can buy two of them for a bit of a deal. And this is in Moon and Cub. I own both of these shades and they're really nice. Three of the Generation G lipsticks, so Like, Cake, and Leo. And then also the Halo Scope in Quartz. So I'm gonna put that in a bag. And then this is what I got for myself. <laughs> so this I repurchased because I really like it. And I've had a hard time finding the Bioderma uh, shower oil. So I figured I would just get this again, 20% off. So good deal. I repurchased the Glossy U fragrance, the Wouter in a deeper shade. I repurchased the concealer because I like that. The uh, serum trio. So we have Bounce, Glow, and Pure. Between these three, I think 
Bounce and Pure are probably my two favorites. I haven't really noticed a difference with the vitamin C. Two of the Generation G lipsticks in Cake and Jam, and then two Boy Brows and a Lash Slick. I forgot to mention the Lid Star, which I got in Fawn. This is kind of the taupey color. I'll do a swatch in a second. I'm not really going anywhere, but I'm gonna try out this uh, Lid Star in Fawn. Had I to do it over again, I probably would have chose this one over Moon, just because I feel like I get a lot more wear out of this one. It's like a really pretty kind of purpley grayish color. I don't have a mirror, so I'm gonna use the Bose phone. I don't think I did a very good job to applying it and I applied such a little amount, but I like the color. Okay, let's try out these Generation G lipsticks. I'll do cake first because it is the lighter of the two. I don't have anything on my lips right now. I don't know that any is actually coming off. Maybe a little. It's a very subtle like everyday color plus these lipsticks are super sheer. So cake so far has not impressed me. Let's see what jam is like. Plus I found the actual product to really tug on the lips. Maybe it's because my lips are super dry right now. This one is definitely applying more color, but it's really tugging. My lips must be really dry. I only had one bottle of water today. I really like this color. It doesn't feel like there's anything on my lips, but I can tell my lips are dry. And it is a really lightweight formulation. It's not like a matte lipstick or a liquid lipstick where you feel it on your lips. It's not like that at all. But it does kind of almost accentuate the dryness of my lips. Okay, before I call it a night, we're gonna open day three of our advent calendar. I just realized that I didn't open a day yesterday, which is why I said day three. So we're gonna do day three and day four today. I found day four, but I'm looking for day three. Oh, there we go. So day three, which should have been opened yesterday is I don't know what this is. Okay, day four. Ooh. A teddy bear. Okay, let's see which one the bow wants. Which one? Ooh, lint. What's in there? I don't know. Something. Okay, let's see what is in here. I wonder if it's on the back of this calendar. Oh, it's nougat. How does taste is like a, maybe like a poor man's Toblerone. <laughs> okay, that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.